In our previous classes, we had seen how to use the for each loop in the mapper in Oracle Integration 3 and transform the data from request format into the output or the response format. When we tested this mapper, we had fewer records. Like here, I have modified this source data or the source request such that we are having a duplicate details for few of the students. Like the Abu Bakr details is repeated over here similarly for the Rajesh. If you see, we are having couple of records over here for the students whose details are same. Now, when we click on execute, now what is happening is in the output, we are having couple of times same details available. Like the record for Abu Bakr pass is available couple of times. Now, what if we want to get in the response the unique records like Abu Bakr, if it is a duplicate in the request, then our mapper should identify it and in the response, it should map only unique records like Abu Bakr's name should come only once similarly for Rajesh as well. Now, we are having couple of records for Rajesh and Abu Bakr. Now, let's see how we can do that. At the time of recording this class, we are not having any function over here, which is having capability in order to filter the records uniquely. Now, one of the thing what you can do is you can make use of the library and build your own JavaScript custom functions and make use of it over here. Another is by making use of XSLT 2.0 function that is for each group. Now, we can manually add this in our mapper in Oracle integration 3 as this is supported in XSLT 2.0. Now, you might ask me how I know that this integration mapper supports XSLT 2.0. If you closely observe this code view, here if you see the version, it says 2.0. So, this number 2.0 is nothing but it is the version of the XSLT which this mapper is using. This mapper is using XSLT 2.0 and XSLT 2.0 is having one of the function that is for each group which we cannot add at the time of recording this class with the help of the designer view. We have to make use of this code view in order to modify our mapper. Now, the syntax for this is like this, XSL opening bracket for each group, then it is having a select clause what we have over here. Now, if I show you the for loop which we have added, it's having this syntax for loop and the select. The only thing what we have to modify is we have to add this hyphen group, copy this from here. We have to paste it for each group over here and similarly ending tag for for each. We have to modify and make it for each group. So, this is the first thing what you have to do if you are making use of for each group. Next is the group by clause. Let me just copy group by over here. Apart from select, it is asking based on what we want to group the records. We have to group by based on the name over here. Now, let me just put the name condition. Okay. Now, let me validate this mapper. Now, if you try to go back to the designer over here, it is not allowing because we are making use of a function which is not available in the designer mode. So, if you make use of any XSLT 2.0 functions in your mapper, then the designer view you cannot make use. So, if you want to get back your designer view, then we have to remove all our functions which are used in the mapper, which is part of XSLT 2.0 and not available currently in the designer view. Since we have added this for each group, let's test the mapper. Now, when we execute, we shouldn't get Abu Bakr's name twice. Now, let's see. Here if you see, we are having in the request couple of records for student named Abu Bakr. Now in the output, we are having this Abu Bakr's details only once, similarly for the Rajesh. If you closely observe, when we try to filter the records based on the name. Now here if you see, there are couple of records for Rajesh, but the result is pass for one Rajesh and fail for another Rajesh. So we can say that these two Rajesh are different persons. Now how we can modify this mapper so that our response will have unique records based on multiple segments like here we have grouped the records based on the name suppose we want to add this results criteria also then what we can do is we can make use of this concat concat and we can append this with result as well comma and the result close the brackets now let's validate now what this function will do is it will group all the source records based on the name and the result suppose if the name and the result are matching in both the records, like here in this case, Abu Bakr and Pass are same for both the records over here. But in the case of Rajesh, only name is matching, but the result is not matching. Then they are different records. Now let's execute this. Now when we execute, we are getting details for Abu Bakr only once. Here if you see, Abu Bakr only once we are getting, but for the Rajesh, we are getting couple of records. So like this, we can make use of the for each group function in XSLT 2.0 over here in the mapper and filter the records or group the records conditionally or we can get the unique records in the response.